Hey y'all, this is Dr. Amadari here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie a two-handed surgical knot. And this video is specifically for all you left-handers out there. So let's get started. I like to orient the incision pointing away from me. And in all my videos, the needle is going to be attached to the purple string. So lefties, you're going to grab your needle driver in your left hand, grab the needle, and suture from left to right, putting your needle on the right side of the incision, and the white end, the free end, on the left. To grab the string, I like to use the pistol grip. You're going to grab both sides with the bottom three fingers of each hand. Looks like two guns. And now to tie all these knots, um, essentially it involves forming a ring with your right hand and just rotating it several times with each throw. So to start, we're going to rotate it first away from us. And you can see that the purple string is now draped over our thumb. We're going to take the white string and drape it over our thumb in the opposite direction you can see that this forms a nice little loop. When you reform the ring, you can rotate it towards you, grab the free end, rotate it a third time away from you, and pull the free end through the loop you just created, and you can see that we get an overhand knot. So by rotating this ring three times, you tie an overhand knot. And after you tie the knot, you pull it tight. And that's our first knot. You can see that the purple string is still on the right, white string is still on the left. The beauty of this, of this technique is that these strings never cross. So let's go ahead and tie our second knot. You're going to start with the ring. Last time we rotated away from us, this, were, this time we're going to rotate it towards us, draping the string over our pointer finger. You're going to take the white string and loop it over in the opposite direction, again forming a loop. Reform the ring, rotate it a second time, grab the free end, rotate it a third time, and pull the free end through, giving you an overhand knot. When you pull this tight, you can see that we get a perfect square knot. Now we get a square knot because we tied two different knots. First we started with our thumb, then we started with our pointer finger. If we tied the same knot twice in a row, we'd get something called a grainy knot, which is bad because they slip. Another way to tie a grainy knot is if you pull your strings in the wrong directions. So when we tie the second square knot, I'm going to emphasize the directions that you should be pulling your strings. So let's go ahead and do that. Grab your strings with the pistol grip, form your ring, and again we're going to start by rotating it away from us around our thumb. Take the free end, form our loop, reform the ring, and rotate it a second time. Now we can grab the free end, rotate it a third time, and pull the free end through, giving us the overhand knot. Now this time we started the knot with our thumb, and this hand is telling me, pull the free end towards me. Come this way. When I pull the free end towards me, you can see that the overhand knot sits perfectly on top of our first square knot. So when you start with your thumb, this, this hand holding onto the needle is your directing hand, telling the free end which way to go, come towards you. So let's go ahead and tie our, our next knot. Form the ring. We're going to rotate it towards us around our pointer finger. Loop it around. Rotate the ring a second time, grab the free end, rotate it a third time, and pull the free end through. Now this time we started with our pointer finger, and it's telling me to pull the free end that way. And there you have it, another awesome square knot that sits nicely on top of the first one. So when you start with your thumb, you pull the free end towards you, and you start with your pointer finger, you pull the free end away from you. Now these two knots remind me of a fun fact about camels. Uh, camels have two rows of eyelashes to protect their eyes from the desert sand, which makes them basically the coolest animal out there. So let's tie a third knot with camels in mind, um, really emphasizing the direction that we're pulling our strings. Grab your strings with the pistol grip and form the ring. Rotate away from us, form your loop, form your loop, rotate a second time towards you, grab the free end, and back a third time, pulling the free end through. We started with our thumb, we're pulling the free end towards us. And for the final knot, rotate it towards you, rotate a second time, grab the free end, a third time, pull the free end through, and tighten it by pulling the free end away from you. And that gives you a third sweet square knot. You can tell that you're tying the right knots because the white is always going to be on the outside and the purple is always going to be down the middle. 
So there you have it. That is how to tie the two-handed surgical knot for left-handers. Um, good luck out there, and thanks for tuning in. Go Camels!